Damn, I can't believe what that Von Breaker did to the house. Oh, hello, folks. Welcome back. It's me at my normal video time hour. If you notice, I'm kind of clean shaven. I'll go to work tomorrow. We're not going to talk about my personal grooming habits. It is a red wine and pizza Friday. Wow. You know these novelty glasses they make? Again, yeah, naughty nice. I tried. There was, there was like a whole, whole lot more than just like a normal half bottle of wine. I don't know. It's so good though. Uh, with that being said, it's time to get a SmackDown. And as always, it's time to get to the thank yous for it. Thank yous first. Let's see here, Patrick. YMV, you sir, because I made mention of something about Billy, about Mickey James. Can you follow that up? You know what, sir? You get to win twice because you got that six count. So with that being said, you know, I doubt I'm going to play any more video games. I'm just freaking tired. I need something to hydrate myself with. Yep, nice cold refreshing beverage. Leads to less of a hangover the morning after. Let's get to make sure there's no one else here. Oh, there's my cat. Let's get to some SmackDown. Uh, starts off Kayla! Um, wanting to do an interview with Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns just literally runs her down. As Roman Reigns properly should. Really, Kayla? You're going to ask me those questions? Paul, just... You vouch for her, Paul. It's your fault, Paul. You deal with this garbage. Uh, so, Paul Heyman does his normal rundown of Kayla. Kevin Owens comes out. Says, you know what? I want to fight you. You're an embarrassment to your family. Let's fight. Good for them. This was really good. Roman Reigns is such a good heel. 
we'll get to that a little bit more later as well. Let's see here, still find. So, ah, liquid left. Then we get to Natalia versus Bailey. <laughs> the battle of the Walmart moms. In fact, that's what I'm going to call. I have to write that down. That's a good one. Battle. Let's see here. Battle. Title. Battle of the Walmart or Kmart. I don't want to dare besmirch Walmart. Battle of the Kmart. Mom. I want to speak to your manager. It's just the voice. It's terrible. Um, this is this was actually really short and surprisingly short. It kind of started off as a squash match. Um, Natalia gets gets dropped in the ropes. Bailey does kind of gets the um gets that draping like cutter. Natalia on the outside. She goes to confront Bianca Belair, who's on the commentary. I guess they're gonna have a setup for a Bianca Belair versus Bailey feud sometimes. What that does for either, I don't know, but it allows me to show the door of wrestling, which is always good. Um, Bailey, uh, she went for the sharpshooter. Again, hit the distance close line. Bailey just kind of mocks Natalia this whole time. And however, Bailey needs to learn something about hubris. Yes, with hubris, and I've been, I probably have too many files because my camera's kind of dying on me now. That's okay. Um, yes, whenever you do something to mock someone, generally comes back to bite you. Um, Bailey tried a roll up attempt, but got rolled up herself into the sharpshooter, and she taps, and that was it. This is the opening match SmackDown. For if I was not enjoying my red wine and pizza. I wouldn't even be watching this. If I saw this, I'm like, Roman Reigns was great. And then I'd be like, the smash is on? No. But yeah, I'm going to switch to the bubble. Bubble, 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 bubble. Now, you know what? This, this, this match was a can of soup. And throughout the show, they did a nice Pat Patterson tribute. It was really good. Um, again, I showed a little six seconds. My Pat Patterson tribute. Last show. So, yeah. It's nice. I mean, they really did devote a lot of time. Then we have a Pat Patterson six-man tag event. Remember, Pat Patterson was the very first Intercontinental Champion. I, I wanted. I, I thought it was in the 70s. I thought it was earlier, earlier than that. Uh, 79, he won it in Brazil. So, yeah, um, it's good to see that they have a bunch of former champions. So, you have Daniel Bryan, Rey Mysterio, and Big E on one side. They're going to take on... So, you have the faces versus heels, so they're the faces. Then they took on Dolph Ziggler, Shinsuke Nakamura, and Sami Zayn. Starts off with uh, Dolph Ziggler and Shinsuke and Big E. This is really good because, remember, at one time, Dolph Ziggler... Oh, 2012 ish. Sometime between 2011 2013. I want to say 2012. I'll have to go back into my archived video. My one video that an ex girlfriend got me and watch it. I'll tell you what. I thoroughly enjoyed that. In fact, maybe for Christmas I'll really watch that. There were some really good matches. I also remember there was like some like. Garbage stuff, though, too. I think the garbage stuff came on whenever the the women wrestled. Especially when it had to do with the Bellas. Now I know I didn't watch wrestling at that time, besides the fact I didn't. No, oh, yeah, I had a TV then. I just didn't know when it was on. I think I started, remember, I started, I kind of took uh, some time off. Started to watch pro wrestling more consistently about 2015 
and things have been and I've been going to a lot more live shows too. That's that's the big difference that hooked me. Going to live events. Wrestle pro wrestling is like baseball. Baseball, it's a truly amazing thing to go out and see. You experience everything. Watching it at home is boring. Enough about that though. Let's talk about this match. Um again, it was great to see again they referenced a little bit of the history between Big E and Dolph Ziggler. Definitely went down two different paths. Uh, Big E kind of, for the most part, carries the match. Uh, he runs into knees, kicks. He posts himself. It's 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 really good to see. Um, then Ray and Sami Zayn get in the ring. Sami Zayn, obviously the the heel. Now Ray went for a hurricane. He's a typical um, tornado DDT. Got caught in the blue thunder bomb. Which he very easily kicked out because everyone kicks out of the blue thunder bomb. Then it was um, Daniel Bryan and Dolph Ziggler. This was pretty good. The yes kicks. Um, the one yes kick mix, and that led to a famous her. Then it was your typical spot fest. And I'll tell you what, Sami Zayn made a blind tag, and Sami Zayn hit the brain buster again on Daniel Bryan. Thank you. Thank you, whoever in WWE is letting them. Do moves that they know they can do. The brain, although the brain buster should be a finisher and should always be a finisher, it's nice to see Sami Zayn bust out one every so often. Daniel Bryan is that level character where he can actually kick out of that. So that I don't mind so much. As long as other like scrubby people don't kick out of the brain buster. He used to have the hell of a kick. Yeah. Um, it was again Sami Zayn versus Kevin Owens. That was a great moment. I don't want to do this to you, but I know I have to to win. He kicked, he hove and kicked him once, and a second time he just stared at him like, one's not going to do it. I love you, man. Same thing, he kicked him again. That was really great, though. Again, that was like probably, if I watched it, it was probably like the surf and turf match. Actually, I think I did do a review of it. I think I did give it, I think I did give it a flaming on match. I'm flaming on reading. That was good. Um, however, Sami Zayn got rolled up after some some shenanigans by the faces. Sami Zayn got rolled up for the win for the pin. He ate the pin. Daniel Bryan, Rey Mysterio, and Big E win. This was a good match. I'll tell you what, it was a good match. A good cheeseburger match. When the faces come in the wing, they of course want to shake their hand and say, good job. The, the heels don't want to have any of it. Um, Zane and Shinsuke got sent outside, leaving poor Dolph all, all in the ring. No one's going to tr trust Dolph Ziggler. He gets beat up. Again, all the signatures are done on him. Yeah, that's kind of what you expected. Uh, KO then does an interview with Kayla. Um... Definitely KOs being being the face. And it is what it was. I mean, nothing particularly special. Kevin Owens is so good at talking, though. Then we had a... Oh, jeez. Carmella and Sasha split screen interview. The way the camera angle was set up, I, I just wanted to see vagina. I wanted to see outer labia. Uh, I just wanted... Both of them to uncross their legs at a certain time. And I hate to say it, that's all I cared about. Sasha is good on the mic. Not the best. Not the worst. I'll give her that. Um, Carmel looks like 50-year-old Florida MILF. In the sparkly outfit, like reliving her youth. All I want to see, Libya. And then we had Murphy taking on Baron Corbin, and the whole Rey Mysterio clan showed up. I think this is the last show, or is next week the last show that they have in Thunderdome, baby? Because the Orlando Magic come back to play, and they need their stadium back. Makes sense. Coronavirus, no one was doing anything. So for WWE, now they need their stadium back. I think they're heading over to the Trop over in Tampa. 
Yeah, it's about a two, two and a half hour drive. No, yeah, about two, uh, hour and a half drive over to Tampa. Hey, WWE, Daytona Beach, baby. <laughs> they could rent the, the Daytona One Center really cheap, I think. Or they could even go outside to the football stadium if they wanted to. All I want is my shiny quarter for that idea. Uh, Murphy versus Baron Corbin was okay. Uh, Baron Corbin is obviously the, the more brute of the two. Um, very strike heavy. Uh, Murphy, he still has his kicks and his spots, but whenever he tried something, Baron Corbin would counter it. And Baron Corbin came down with Blake and Cutler. Two of the two of the three Forgotten Sons have been relegated to henchmen. Jesus. Why? They were so good. I didn't even... If they stayed in NXT as the Forgotten Sons, they had something. They lost it when they came to the WWE. Granted, coronavirus killed a whole bunch of stuff. <sighs> Why? Why spend all the time to build up the Forgotten Sons just to have them just disappear? Uh, whatever. Um, yeah, so, so they're there ringside accompanying Baron Corbin. Um, uh, Murphy <laughs> did his big kick from the apron. That was really good. Uh, however, once Murphy hit the, hit the ground, he got sent to the timekeeper's table. Uh, Corbin, again, very strike heavy. Murphy, again, the, when he came back, it was a knee, a big knee. And then the chin lock, that was okay to see. Um, Cutler and Bl and um, Blake jumped Rey Mysterio and Dominic. And I think Alia's top was a little too tight or it was a little too cold. Pokey. Um, so that, of course, distracted Murphy because he's now part of the Mysterio family, I guess. That all with Baron Corbin um, after the uh, Mur uh, Blake and Cutler running the ring. Murphy got caught in the end of days. Um, that's how Baron Corbin win. He wins, meh, a ham sandwich match. Then we have the Street Profits and Robert Roode. Um, Robert, remember Robert Roode and Dolph Ziggler did defeat the Street Profits. They do deserve their title shot. They might be getting it. Uh, come tables, lounge, and chairs, and I think one week from Sunday. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, and we have Kevin Owens and Otis taking on Jey Uso and Roman Reigns. This was really good. Um, this was actually a tale of two matches. It started off the first half. Jey Uso was in the handicap spot. And it was Kevin Owens and Otis. Jey Uso was there. Roman Reigns did not come out yet. I'm um, Otis and Uso to start. Otis is way too big, way too strong. Otis is a big clothesline. However, Otis wants to go dive into Jay Uso. He posted himself. Kevin Owens gets the smart tag, the blind tag. Kevin Owens is so good at trash talking. It is such a pure joy to watch Kevin Owens work in the ring. His wrestling is good. Um, the way he can talk to an opponent talk to opponents really good the way he 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 jabs at fans uh verb well verbally jabs at fans and his opponents is off the charts again if you want to become a wrestler follow kevin owens you can be a fat bastard if you can just talk and have some personality have charisma just look at kevin owens he made it i mean if i was 20 years younger and like, had my own house and could travel, I might be able to make it too, knowing what I know today. Again, that was 20 years ago. Maybe not so much now. I still have some bumps left in me. I just, no, it's not that, it's not as many as I thought it, as it probably should be, or as many as I need. Again, you're only one bad bump away from something terrible happening. I chose to cultivate, well, my mind a bit, for, for what it's worth. Hopefully one day it will give me that boat. Um, 
Let's see her from there. Like uh, Kevin Owen. Uh, Dana, 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 Dana. Roman Reigns decides to make to come out to the ring. Kevin Owens takes his dig at Roman Reigns. It's a Samoan drop on Jay Uso. Then they go to the outside, and everyone fights on the outside. Uh, Kevin Owens. And he gets tossed to one side. And poor Otis. Otis eats a Superman punch, and, and Otis, like, dies. Um, Ra Roman Reigns takes the steps multiple times to Otis. Otis is out of the match. So now, this is where I, remember where I said this was a tale of two matches. The first half of the match was a Jey Uso handicap match. Now, all of a sudden, it's a Kevin Owens handicap match. Uh, Kevin Owens, again, he's, he's so good. Um, however, Jey Uso hits a super kick. He was going to go, go up to the top. Roman said, no, tag me in. I'm going to finish him. Jey very slowly gets down, gets caught. He tries a super kick on Kevin Owens. Kevin Owens catches it, stunners him, pins him. But Roman Reigns comes in to break up the pin, puts in, puts in the guillotine choke, and doesn't let go. So the ref says, hey, listen, Roman, you're not supposed to be here. We broke it up. You're out. One, two. Come on, Roman. Three. I, when I get to five, I'm at four. Come on, Roman. If I get to five, you're disqualified. Okay, f five. Five. Roman, I have to disqualify you. Hey, 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 ring the bell. Uh, he gets disqualified. So Kevin Owens, in theory, wins. Um, however, Kevin Owens gets gets peed up by chairs. J the chair just chair shots the chair shot beating the chair shots the beating with the chair continues. Jey Uso doesn't does, does something not necessarily smart. He puts the chair across Kevin Owens. So Kevin Owens is lying prone, chair on top of Kevin Owens. Let's see here. There we go. Chair on top of Kevin Owens. Hard metal. Jey Uso goes to the top. Splash. On to the chair, on to Kevin Owens. Not necessarily the brightest wrestling move there. That probably hurts you just as much as your opponent. Roman Reigns is like, why, Oos? Picks him up by the hair. Man, you let this guy, you let this guy chump you out. I had to save you. Kevin Owens grabs, I love the fact that he grabbed Kevin Owens by the beard. Said, yeah, you and me, tails, lies, and shares. It's on. It was good. It's a great ending. Um, it was good. It'll lead to something next week. And then table, ladders, and chairs. I want to say is the thirteenth. Then. Um, this was this was actually a pretty good match. Um, a cheeseburger match. And that was SmackDown. Again, for the most part, I'd say, besides the opening match, it was a cheeseburger of a show. That opening match, just, you take that out, the, the inter intro was really good. Roman Reigns is showing more character now. God, having Natalya and Bailey open the show as, as a wrestling match is awful. I mean, that's how you that's how you kill audience people just were going oh Roman reigns ooh that's good oh wait Natalia and, and Bailey shh, shh. yeah not good um so that's the last show of the week I am off tomorrow but I will be returning a little bit late on Sunday to talk about war games um that's a normal week with the oh actually there's two sh actually it's a full week next week I didn't realize that. Because Monday, Monday Night Raw, Tuesday. Oh, Tuesday, it's not a soup day. Tuesday's a pizza day, baby. Because Kenny Omega is supposed to be there. I have to celebrate that somehow. Um, Wednesday's the normal AEW. Thursday's, I don't know, man. That Von Breaker came in. He's a scary guy. Maybe we will have, maybe we will have Dr. Tom come back. I hope, if he wants to. I'm give predictions about 
both the Impact Show. Oh, I forget what it's called now. But it's their uh, monthly special. As well as table ladders and chairs. And we'll see how things go from there. And then, oh yes, the 19th, I should be going to a wrestling show. So you will get to see some live content again. And also Monday, um, after I do my Raw review, I might show you my video. Coronavirus. <laughs> it's had a sneeze. I've had a candle burning the whole week, and I think it's finally getting to that, that, that super saturated smelling point. So not coronavirus. But, um, yeah, Mon as I was saying, Monday, probably after my Raw review, I'm going to show you how to make Mexican pizzas. Somewhat the way Taco Bell did. A little bit bigger because I am the one, the only Hobo Tom. And you'll be invited to the Hobo Kitchen on Monday as well. Other than that, I'd like to thank...